Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the first week of April and opening up the second week. So without further ado, let's go. So as usual, we're gonna start with the expenses. So let me flip through those. I'm gonna walk you through. Sorry if the lighting is weird. I'm back in my parents' house filming in my old setup, but I don't have a ring light anymore because that died. My tripod broke, so we're just having a very exciting time. I need to find a new setup, need to buy new lights, but that's all coming. But let's just focus on what we have currently going on, which is the expenses. So we have 50 uh, euros, 28 cents in groceries, 18, 15 in spending, 65 in dine out, 27.95 in beauty. I got my new nails done. If you wanna see how this happened, I did po post a weekly vlog yesterday, go check it out. It was a very fun week. Um, and then 23.58 in upkeep, 102.51 in utilities and 132.05 in clothing. So in total, that was 419 euros and 52 cents. Perfect, so let's flip to the budget and walk you through the actual amounts. Perfect, so the actual budget was 1,050 euros that we worked with. Let's see our black binder, how much we have in the rollover. So groceries have a rollover of five. And nothing in spending and nothing in dine out. Okay, of course, everything flipped. So five in groceries, which means we spend 50. And if nothing was rolled over and spending in dine out, we spent all of it respectively 20 and 65. So five was gas, 50 was rent, 25 utilities, miscellaneous five, and upkeep, AKA one month ahead was 50. So that was 270. Uh, 1,050 minus 270 is 780 and 780 bringing that up to short-term sinking funds everything here stayed the same 15 beauty 20 in birthdays 10 into christmas 20 in clothing nothing in gifts 15 health 5 in holidays 80 in subscriptions and travel in i got 50 and uh, that was 285 so 780 minus 285 495 bringing that down here to long-term sinking funds everything stayed here the same as well five into babies 15 into car 25 in deposit nothing in emergency because we finalized that goal five into pets 320 in retirement technology and weddings each of five so that was 380 and 495 minus 380 is 115 bringing that here 115 we already put 110 in the savings box so this rollover five will go in there this week which brings the total to 115 so let's do that let me grab my savings box and let's add a five somebody in my previous video did mention that i have our single 15 left and it's here i ran through it last time but i'm gonna fill it in with the next cash stuffing Let's cross off a five today. And we only have that 115 and then tens and fives left. So it should be very, very fast uh, filling in from now on. Excited for that. But now let's move on to next week's budget. I'm gonna walk you through. Let me take this away. And let's see what we're working with. So next week's budget is 900 euros. That's what we're working with. So groceries is going to get a 50. Spending a 20, dine out a 60. Gas is going to get a five, rent a 25. Nothing in utilities, because we have a good buffer there. Miscellaneous is going to get five, and one month ahead is going to get a 50. So in total for bills and cash envelopes, that's going to be 215. So 900 minus 215 is 685. Perfect. We're bringing that 685 up here to short-term sinking funds. We are going to put 30 into beauty, 20 into birthdays, 10 into Christmas, 20 into clothing. Health is going to get a 30. Uh, subscriptions is going to get a 20. And travel is going to get a 50. So in total, for short-term sinking funds, that's 180. 
So we have 685 minus 180 is 505. We're bringing that down to long-term sinking funds. Babies is going to get a five, car a 20, deposit a 25, nothing in emergency, five into pets, 270 in retirement, and five in technology and weddings each. So in a long-term sinking funds, that's going to be 335. So 505 minus, 505 minus 335 is 170. We're bringing that here, 170, and 140 is going into the savings box, and 30 is going into taxes, because I do want to beef taxes up a little bit. So 140 plus 130 is 170, which means that we have nothing left to budget, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. Perfect. So that's the budget for the second week of April. I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Also, as I said, I did upload a weekly vlog. So go check it out if you haven't before. And in the comments down below, let me know if you want to see different kind of videos from me in the future. Anything you want or I don't know, suggest me to film. I'm always open for recommendations. But yes, I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.